It doesn't look like California voters will get a chance to decide whether schools should teach homosexual curriculum. California passed a law this summer requiring textbooks to include gay lessons. Family groups fought hard to get the measure put on the ballot, but it appears they fell short. Here's Tyler James. You guys registered Conservative groups needed more than a half a million signatures to get the measure put on the ballot and put to a vote. We're down to the wire. With just hours to go before the deadline, organizers were short thousands of signatures. The movement mostly consists of volunteers, and a lack of financial support hurt their cause. It's very difficult without paid signature gatherers, but the groundswell is so great that it is actually possible that we just might make it. A last-ditch effort to collect enough signatures was a long shot and appears to have fallen short, but organizers say they're still hoping for a miracle. At issue, SB 48, a new California law that requires textbooks to include historical contributions made by gay, lesbian, and transgender people. Gay rights groups have been working for years in California to include themselves in school curriculum. It's necessary because there's a whole community that has been censored out of our educational system. They also claim it will help prevent gay students from being bullied. It would mean so much if it had been around when I was younger. It probably would have saved me through a lot of the trauma I had to go through. Many conservative and family groups say the law indoctrinates children to accept homosexuality as a healthy lifestyle. This is not just homosexual behavior that will be promoted directly to these children, but bisexuality, cross-dressing, sex changes. Children will be taught to admire these lifestyles, and it will all be done in a positive way. Randy Thomason says this new law is just the latest in a string of sexual indoctrination laws in California. He encourages parents to take their children out of public schools. The government schools are no longer for the parents. They're anti-parent. I believe in God's schools and the devil's schools. And if you want your children in God's schools, you've got to get them out and put them into homeschooling, which you can do for as little as $40 a month or even $20 a month, mm -hmm. or into a solid church school. The new law goes into effect January 1st, but opponents say this isn't over and they plan to hold lawmakers who voted for the law accountable. Tyler James, CBN News.